Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, somebody was talking to me the other day and they wanted me to uh, expand on uh, something called RPR. So, RPR is Reflexive Performance Reset and it's essentially a set of, you know, you got 13 to 14 points, I believe, uh, various uh, neurological, I hate to say turn-ons, but, uh, or activation, because that insinuates that uh, the, the body, like the nerves, especially from a neural standpoint, goes to sleep, which is, does not, um, but uh, they'll call them neurological wake-up drills. So um, I'll go to these different courses and get all these different certifications and all that stuff, and some of them are really good, some of them are junk, but nonetheless, I will... Um, you know, at least show people things that I've learned and let them decide on their own, you know, does this seem to work for you? Does it feel good? Does it help or does it detract or is it neutral uh, with your training? So uh, RPR is one of those that a lot of people are skeptical of and, you know, I had my, my certain level of skepticism when I first saw it and did the, you know, RPR level one stuff, but I sincerely believe there's something to it, and um, I've shown a lot of guys on base uh, the, the RPR and the wake-up drills, and, you know, we'll do uh, a test, retest, and uh, these guys seem to like it, and if you're curious about what it is, just go to YouTube, type in RPR wake up drills. It's from Cal Deets and uh, I believe JL Holdsworth, if I remember correctly. And then there's a third guy, I can't remember his name. But, um, anyway, I look at those guys and look at what they're doing. And the thing that got my attention with them is that they, their claim is that per, you know, thousand hours of practice, they saw injury rates decrease upon implementing these wake-up drills, which uh, is what got my attention with these. So go on and check out the RPR wake-up drills on YouTube from Cal Deets. I believe it's he's with um, at Mark Bell's gym. It's like a 13 to 15 minute video, and it goes through them in detail. And then if you want more detail from there, you can always take the cert or whatever, um, and it digs in the weeds a little bit more. But the most important thing is that if you believe something works, <laughs> it'll work. All right. That's, that is the placebo effect to the highest degree, you know, because we had, I remember when I was at Ball State, uh, as an undergrad, we had, um, I, I believe it was our biomechanics department had one of those, um, vibrating plates that they were, um, they were testing and they were doing some experiments on. And then after they were done with it, they brought it down to the to the weight room with Coach Robe, and he's like, yeah, sure, just toss it over there in the corner, and we'll see if athletes like it. So, you know, we had some athletes who swore up and down, hey, this makes me feel better for my lift or for practice or whatever, and then other ones were like, this didn't do a damn thing for me, and then other ones who were just like, meh, whatever. So the lesson with the vibrating plate is... I, I explain it to athletes like this. Everything we do in human performance, at least initially, you know, we're, we're kind of trial by fire. We're, imagine we're at a buffet and we want to go try everything at the buffet to see what works, what doesn't work, what do you like, what do you not like. There are some things that we have to do, um, but there is no magic exercise that you should become married to. It's a matter of finding what's most appropriate, uh, what gets us the best result while uh, in the safest way possible. So that's how we look at it, you know, at least from the start. And then from there, everything else, it's just a tool, okay? So what is the reason rationale that you're going to use XYZ tool? Do you know why you're using this tool or not? If you don't know, then you know you should take a step back and really think about it and figure out, is this something I should or should not be doing? So, 
anyway, a um, couple things just to, to get your wheels turning a little bit. Um, if you guys have questions about anything or, hey, you want some clarification on something, comment below, email me, travis at dynamichp.net. Uh, if there's other stuff you want to see on here, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to make a video about it. So talk to you guys later. Have a good day.